Oh my god, good morning guys. So I'm gonna start this vlog off <laughs> waking up in my natural state. I overslept. It's literally I don't even know what time it is. I usually set my alarm to get up about nine o'clock. But look what time it is. Shame on me. Shame on me. Uh it's actually raining outside, so I think that's probably why I overslept. Usually if I don't set my alarm my body doesn't go past 10 o'clock so I can see I'm gonna have a very late start today and I need to wash my hair it is super super oily I did a hot oil well not a hot oil kind of hot oil but not hot oil I did a treatment oil treatment in my hair overnight so I'm gonna wash it now um, and then I have to make some products because I'm not gonna be working this weekend so I have a lot to make today I stayed up till like 4 o'clock and I made um, some of the Kayomi serum was um, as you guys know I infuse it and that batch was ready and I had to make sure it was at the right temperature and stuff like that and um, yeah it was ready so let's put it I'm still trying to determine if I want to actually keep the flowers in there I don't know I might do a couple more polls and see but yeah you hear my voice is so raspy and I wake up and my face is always like super swollen so that's why I use the um sometimes I'll use the papaya mask in the morning when I leave it in the shower in the shower oh my god when I leave it in the fridge and then I'll put it on my face it kind of helps with the swelling I don't know what it is and then I'm noticing like I have this little patch brown patch on my eyeball it makes my eyes look like it's red but it's not it's I don't know what this is if you know what that is comment in the, the comments below I searched on Google and it was saying it's nothing like harmful, but I just don't like it. It's like a brown little patch. I don't know. Anyway, enough about that. Typically when I wake up, the first thing I do, which I shouldn't, <laughs> is check my phone. I make sure. So I did recently, about a month ago, get two separate phones. Just so when I'm like not working, I could be on my personal phone and I don't get anxiety about emails and stuff. So I have a separate phone for business. I keep my personal e my business email on here and like my um, business apps. And then, of course, I just showed you my personal. If it, oh, it probably died. No, it didn't. <laughs> and I have my personal there. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get up, make this bed. And I'm gonna go wash my hair. I may or may not show you the process of that. Yes, look, it is getting oily. Oily, oily, oily. We gotta, we gotta get the, the oil on here so these edges, because I think I suffer, I wear a lot of ponytails. That's why I'm trying to like wear claw clips because the retention, is it retention? Or no, the traction. The traction from the ponytails being too tight, my edges start getting a little, getting a little light there, and we don't want that. We want, we want the edges. So definitely have to do a little bit more hot oil treatments and mask and stuff. I've been supporting a couple of more businesses, um, small businesses. A Yorva. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. I feel like I never pronounce it right, but I don't know if you guys can see it, A Yorva. This is her hair oil. I use another one. This is from Essential Curve. Um, go and support her business with Lavish Curls too because she has some good stuff that I want. I have flaky um, scalp and I know she has like psoriasis, a psoriasis collection. I don't necessarily have psoriasis scalp but I do deal with dandruff bad and dry scalp and that does affect your hair growth. So the scalp health has to be in order in order for it to grow so definitely gonna go support her go check her business out and check out those businesses as well i'm all out of the shower literally this is how my hair looks look <laughs> it's giving 12 year old curls like this is why i don't wear my hair curly i should have dried off a little <laughs> i don't wear my hair curly because it the shrinkage is crazy those are pretty defined and if you're a curly girl you know not every curl is the same I literally have different curl patterns and then in the back it shrinks up even more and then it's like poofy and frizzy and literally not uh, I don't know it's just but yeah everyone always asks me I want to see curly hair I want to see curly hair this is it 
This is it. I Y'all, invest in a tongue scraper. Do not use that little brush in the back of your toothbrush. Don't even buy them little uh, tongue brushes because I learned you are actually moving around the bacteria, which is most of the bad breath that you can have or like food particles lay on your tongue. So you gotta scrape off that bacteria, not just move it around. So get you a metal tongue scraper. Literally, you're gonna be disgusted if you've never done it before because the amount of gunk that comes off, you're gonna be like, what was I doing before? Tip, tell me, do it. And with our vanilla and cocoa body butter, it's always best, my towel is about to fall. It's always best to use it out of the shower when your skin is still, is still damp. So I just like pat dry, just still a little bit of water on me. It's not completely dry. So then that's when you go and take the body butter and put it on. This allows the moisture to penetrate into your skin a lot faster. And Other thing, I usually spray my perfume when I get out the shower as well. It works for me. It. Um, I seen something years ago where if you're if you spray your perfume too um, while your body's still wet, it kind of stays on longer. So I just always been doing that, and it works for me. I don't know if it doesn't work for anybody else, but I'm gonna go in with the Valentino. I forgot what actual scent this is, but I spray. And I spray perf uh, perfume when I go to bed too. People look at me, they're like, why are you spending, why are you using your perfume? I'll use like my cheaper ones, but I definitely spray myself a perfume when I go to bed. I don't know who I think I'm going to see when in my dreams, but <laughs> I'll be spraying my perfume. My boyfriend does that too, so I know I'm not crazy. Um, but yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go in, wash my face. Ooh, that Valentino smells good. I'm gonna use the turmeric honey. Yeah, I bought this, um, what you call it? Eyebrow gel. Can we get a round of applause? Because these suckers have not moved. <laughs> I'm about to wash it off now, but I literally went to bed. I took off like, my, um, my concealer last night, but I didn't touch my eyebrows because I wanted to test it to see how good it was. I'm like, hmm, is it really gonna stay in place? And it kind of did. Cause you know, I have curly hair. My eyebrows are curly too. I don't know if that's a thing. Has anyone else experienced that? But my eyebrows literally curl up. It's so annoying. So I see people take the actual skin bar and put it on their face. You kind of don't want to do that. Just in case there's any bacteria that may be sitting on the soap when it was in the open. So I just take my hands because I'm not very clean. I just wash them. And then, yeah. I had a pimple here that I popped. So I, my skin gets hyperpigmentated and these scars or marks. So I'm using this to kind of prevent it from darkening up. And then I'm going to go in and <laughs> when I sound like that, I'm going to um wash my neck. It's well, even though I just did it in the shower, but I can't, I'm so conditioned to wash my neck when I wash my face, so it's gonna get double cleansed. And it's gonna rinse this off. My eyebrows at the ends, they are very scarce. Like, I don't know. I think ever since I went to that lady when I was like 18 years old, she jacked my eyebrows up and they have never been the same. Never been the same. I, I don't know what I was thinking. My normal lady wasn't there and I had somewhere to go and I was like, you know what? Let me just have her do it because I looked crazy and I should have known. I should have known better. She didn't have any eyebrows. Her whole entire eyebrow was a pencil. And I don't know, it was just naive me. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Y'all, I came out. I know it was real because I got in the car. My boyfriend was like, Yo, what's wrong with your eyebrows? You look like a mannequin. <laughs> I was like, no, drive me to CVS. I need a eyebrow pencil immediately. Stop. I was like, the fact that you even noticed it is crazy and you're a guy. I was like, mm. And ever since then, like my tails do not grow back for the life of me. I'm gonna have to like get microblading or something because I, 
I can't be filling these eyebrows in every single day. Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. And I don't even do crazy makeup. So like, I don't even want to do makeup. Why do I have to fill my eyebrows in? No, I don't use towel or rag to dry my face because they hold bacteria. So I just get a clean paper towel and pat dry. And I have to dry my um, eyelashes too. And left them out. Like she needs to go get a refill. I said a refill. I fell in. I was about to drop my perfume. So I got this on Amazon. It's a little, it's a little wet. <laughs> it's a little drier. This way, Nakia. This way. And then I just go in and brush these up. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it just helps it fluff it back out. Oh. Yeah, I've been having songs in my head. I don't even know. I'm my own, my own friend. My boyfriend tells me all the time, he's like, yo, you need, someone needs to like put a camera in your room or wherever you are, because you just be full of life and cracking your own self up. You sure right about that? Because if I can't make myself laugh, who will make me laugh? <laughs> And that's on what? It's on purr. All right. Take it down though. More. And now I'm gonna go put on my robe. <laughs> all right, I'm back with all my tools. All of the tools. Y'all, this eyelash. Okay. So I'm about to go in with some Vaseline Advanced Repair for my lips because they look a little crusty. What time is that? I can't take too long with this because I've got a lot to do. Time. It's 12.13. What time did I start this this vlog? I remember. And with this, wow, the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It kind of works, but does it? I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. But I'm supposed to spray it on your hair, and then it activates once the blow dryer. Like, look at this. Look how tight these curls are back here. Remember I told you there's like different. I have different curl patterns. It's super like. Look at this one. This one is so small compared to like these. I don't know. But yeah, once you spray this, the blow dryer activates it. I like to put it around my edges because those are the first to go. <laughs> okay? Those are the first ones to start curling up. Let me do that first, actually. So I'm going to go in with our Kayomi, ooh, <laughs> with our Kayomi serum and Put the moisture back into my skin from washing it. And I have very dry skin, so I put a couple of drops, especially on my T zone area. I got this little Revlon brush from Amazon and it works for the most part. It doesn't get my hair bone straight again because I have curly hair so. Although I've seen some people post on TikTok with curly hair and they got their hair pretty straight but not for me. And then I just go in with a paddle brush if that's what you call it. I know this is not good but I just kind of do it on the ends. You can see my hair starts to curl up more. And I just brush it out. Don't come for me in the comments, please. I know. I really won't. 
do the things I'm supposed to do. But I already brushed it out with my, what is it, Damon brush in the shower. So that's why this is going through so smooth. But I just do this to kind of brush out the curls a little bit, even though still, yeah, see, the curls are still curling. <laughs> so it's not really helping at all. Look at that little, ah! Take that out. But he's gonna curl right back up. This one, right? I I'm done blow drying. I went ahead and put on a bit. This is from another small business owner. I mean, from another small business. It's called a Vagabond. And she has these nice, like, loungewear. I wear them outside, but nice little loungewear. And it comes with the leggings. I'll show you guys in a few, but that's besides the point. We're gonna get into the hair. So I finished blow drying. And this is what it looks like after. Oh, I should have blow dried hair a little bit more because they already started curling back up, yes. Yeah, and I use a sugar boo. I don't know if it's gonna show. Sugar boo. I got this from TJ Maxx, my big second favorite place in the whole wide world besides Target. So I'm going to use this. And y'all don't be me and put the thing up high. I typically do. I know it's not good. <clears throat> I do about like 420. And this goes up to 450. But we're just not going to burn the hair today. Not today. Maybe another day. And I don't even know why I'm doing this. Because it's literally raining outside. And I'm leaving later to go out. So I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I guess you're really putting that spray to the test. But my hair needed to be um, washed regardless because my scalp started itching. And I know once that starts happening, there's some buildup that needs to be gone. All right, so I'm gonna swirl through this. Hopefully this brush isn't wet now. So. We fixed this. This is like turning into a get ready with me. <laughs> Literally, this is going to be so long. Maybe I should. I should do a second video. I think I might do that because I could get two videos out of this. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alrighty, this is all hot. 
don't know why I'm putting it in my face. I don't know if I should do... I'm probably not going to do bone straight because <clears throat> it's raining outside. So I'm probably just going to do the little, the little under curl. So when I wrap it, it'll, you know, it won't be so curly. It'll just be nice and flowy and bouncy because there's literally no point of doing So yeah guys, I think I might make this into a second uh, one video itself and film right after. I still have one um, video that I recorded yesterday to film. And I never understood, I need to do a lot more research, but I never understood having dry, fake, flaky scalp and then having extremely oily hair at the same time. You would think if my scalp is dry, it wouldn't be <laughs> making any oil. I love how rain sounds soothing, but I just, I don't like being in it at all. At all. You see, I put that oil on and I have no dandruff, no sign of dandruff right now. Oh my God. And usually I will. I'm about to start doing that, like the night before walk. fingers to it so my hair is still kind of in layers <laughs> 